Hey guys, how's it going? Simple Clutch here. Uh, I'm thinking of starting a Road to Commander, depending on how well these videos do. So, you know, here I'm prestiging um, for my fourth time. And, uh, yeah, it's cool and all. Um, now, this prestige started off good. And, um, you know, I was thinking of doing a Road to Commander, but I don't know if I have it in me. You know, I'm not going to start one unless I'm going to finish it. So, I mean, I'm going to do the first five matches of my Road to Commander, you know, show you guys how to start off after you just prestige. I know a lot of people would probably go negative and get all pissed off. So I'm going to show you how to go positive. Um, and here I'll get right into it with the launch gameplay, uh, Domination. Um, you know, uh, I always go with the MP5K. It's just my personal choice. The M16 is good, but I'm terrible with it. Uh, and then, you know... The end field is pretty bad, but I'd go with the MB5K. That's just me. Um, anyways, if the first five videos get enough views and likes and all that, or, you know, people actually want to see more, I'll do it. But, you know, I, I'm not going to upload 90 or like 123 parts to it if they're only getting like two views each. I'm not going to do that. Um, so, you know, domination. Basically, you gotta play the objective. That's all you have to focus on. You can't play it like a team deathmatch game, or you're gonna suck. Um, I fail. Don't get a kill. I suck. Yeah, I haven't used I hadn't used the MP5K in a long time, and that's what happened. Um, here I play the objective, of course, uh, by B trying to hold it off while my friend caps it, pick up a kill, reload, stay in cover. And, uh, yeah, so he's capping it. So I come out and help him cap it. And, uh, hold, hold them off here, pick up another kill. And I uh, get the position, so you play the objective. And I'm holding them off, playing the objective, and three kill streak. So, back to my main point, play the objective. Now, uh, that doesn't mean camp by the flag in a corner, staring at the flag. That's not playing the objective, that's basically camping. Here, I'm flanking. I'm not sitting, like, by a flag or anything like that, just sitting in a corner. You're supposed to play the objective. Um, five kills three. Um, and, you know, see, it's working good, but once you run out of ammo, here, I, uh, I run away. Um, one kill away from a helicopter, and my friend, you'll see in a minute here, will kill himself, you know, hoping to give me a uh, gun, and I still end up dying and not getting a kill streak. So he's right behind me, and kills himself. Wait for him. I turn around, yeah, and I see, kills himself, nice guy. Um, and I get his gun, and I suck with it. And then I camp a little, because I really wanted a helicopter. Um... This isn't exactly camping. I mean, I don't, I don't really camp, but uh, you know, I, I play the objective. And some people will say, "Oh, that's camping." But I mean, like you saw at the beginning, how I kept, you know, going behind that one barrel and shooting them. You could call that camping, or you could just call it playing the objective. I call it playing the objective. And if you want, I'll post a video on, you know, what a camper really is. But uh, in the meantime, see, I don't know. How I didn't get that guy, and I lose my helicopter. Um, I can't really talk about perks and all that, it's just a default class, everyone has it. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna keep prestiging, uh, you know, for as long as, you know, before Modern Warfare 3 comes out, because then I'll be playing that. But, uh, I always get crappy care packages, and, um, yeah. And since there's, is there, I, I think there's steady aim on this class, it may or may not be. Pretty sure there is, but, uh, it, it's a good thing to use steady aim. Uh, lightweight marathon steady aim is what I put on my MP5K, and also rapid fire. Um, get a long shot, and I, I, you can't just shoot someone and then wait. You gotta move around after you kill someone, so you know the team doesn't know exactly where you are after that. And um, here we only have one flag, and uh, I think we're winning by one point, a couple points. And I go for the objective and get killed. That's camping. This is camping. You know when you sit up on that and lay there, and that's you know that's, that's, that's dirty. Um, and, uh, teamwork wins you matches, and we were in the same lobby for the first, like, ten or matches or whatever of my prestige. It's, like, pretty much the same team, and, you know, we'll, we win most of the games because we use teamwork. We don't all focus on kill-death ratio. We focus on the objectives. Now, they cap B, so I immediately run for C. And, you know, I get one kill, reload, and die. 
Um, oh yeah, it does have steady aim. Awesome. And not bad at the class, uh, but yeah. Someone had some jammer or something, I don't know. And, uh, well, I, one of my friends got shot at back there, so I thought I'd go help him. Um, and I didn't end up finding anyone. So I just go back to the objective, which is C. Uh, you know, and, uh, you know, while, while I'm sitting here, you know, commentating and all this, uh, I want to talk about Modern Warfare 3. Now, Black Ops brought a few key things to the table that I like. First of all, theater mode. That's back in Modern Warfare 3. This is great. And you don't have to record every game. You can just record the good ones, or if you're doing World of Commander, you have to record every game. Um, second thing they brought to the table, they took out stopping power, and that's the best, because in Modern Warfare 2, I never used Cold Blooded because I wanted stopping power. I just couldn't stand not having stopping power. They took it out, now I finally get to use all the perks. And I don't even use Ghost because yeah, I like Scavenger. Um, you know, and uh, that was good that they took out uh, stopping power. Uh, what else they did better is they made the, the kill streaks you get, the kills you get with your kill streaks don't count. And I think that's good too. It cuts down on all the chopper gunners, you know. I've I've only gotten the chopper gunner, you know, four times since Black Ops went out, and you know that they, I got it, a EC-130 chopper gunner many times in Modern Warfare 2, so you know it's it's a lot better I think. And here I take that guy, reload and die, but to spy plane. And another thing is when you're playing team-based games, you want to get team-based kill streaks like uh, counter spy plane or spy plane or um. Whatever that thing, whatever that thing is that brings up their like it's a continuous UAV. I forget what it's called, but I don't really care. Um, you, you basically it's not free for all, you know. You, you need to help out your team, and that's what I try to do. Get get kill streaks to help them out, like a chopper gunner, like a chopper holds them off. Yeah, but more like it'd be better to get a UAV, a counter spy thing. You know, those would be good. Um, you know, I'm just. You know, I'm helping uh, him cap C, and I'm defending C here, uh, picking a guy off, and uh, play the objective. It works pretty well. Uh, I almost get blown up. I know someone's coming, so I'm waiting for him. And, um, you know, get that guy, and I think I die here reloading. Uh, no, not yet. Uh, 14 and something right now, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. You know, um, now, Modern Warfare 3 looks great, the campaign actually looks good, the Black Ops campaign, shit, it's terrible, um, zombies and Black Ops are good, you know, they'll always have that over Infinity Ward, but, uh, you know, uh, Modern Warfare 3 looks good, the multiplayer's good, it's gonna be like Modern Warfare 2, that means good multiplayer, I mean, Modern Warfare 2 is a great game, it's just boring, you know, if you played it enough like I have, it's boring, and that's what makes Black Ops so intriguing. I mean, I, I would play World at War all the time, but that game's hacked. And, uh, a question for you guys. Is World at War hacked for PS3? I don't know. I play on Xbox, and I'm getting a PS3 as well. Uh, I want to know if World at War is hacked for PS3. So, if you're watching this video and you have a PS3, please comment on whether or not it's hacked. I'd like to know. Uh, now here, I get screwed over. Trying to get my care package, and I didn't get my kill streak. Um, and I end up dying, yeah, no, actually I get a pistol kill then die, but, uh, here we're winning the domination game, and we have two points, now we cap this, so I immediately head out for the objective, um, and yeah, now I need to know some information about Modern Warfare 3, I know they have a two-player mode, kind of like zombies or something, spec ops kind of thing, finally get my helicopter, knife them, and, you know, I fail, but I called it in, uh, here, over one of the flags, but, uh, yeah, you know, it's gonna be a good game mode, uh, I've heard some things about the E3 trial, it's gonna be cool, and they have campaign and the multiplayer, and, uh, I don't know how many prestiges they have, but I'm definitely gonna go for, you know, like, every prestige, I didn't do it for Black Ops, because I quit playing it, and I played the NHL 11 instead, um, and here, you know, the match is pretty much, you know, getting in, you know, our control, and, uh, is just, you know, playing the objective. There's not much to talk about, you know, in domination. It's it, it's quite simple, but a lot of people treat it like team deathmatch, and that doesn't help you at all. So I think this is good, um, you know, shows people, you know, what you have to do to win. And uh, when you see my Road to Commander, Part 1, 2, 3, 4, all that stuff, you'll realize that, you know, it, 
we win consecutively game after game because we all cap the flag together and we're not thinking about kill death ratio. See here I get him too and you know we're playing the objectives and we're winning. Uh, not saying Charlie Sheen saying there, but it just just I just said um, you know I it get killed. I don't know how I didn't get that guy. That was a complete fail. Um, you'll see a lot of fails. You know if I do the whole road to commander, you know. I go negative sometimes, and it, you know, you can expect those games from, you know, I'm not perfect, I don't go, like, positive every single game of a prestige, you can expect, you know, probably a quarter of my games, I'll go negative, I mean, the first seven games or eight games of my prestige, I went negative once or twice, you know, but it, it, it could get worse, you know, I could have a bad streak or something like that, and, uh, you know, it's, it, you can't always expect great games from me, um, you know, I'm not I'm not the best gamer out there. I mean, I'm good. I mean, I I I play the other game, motocross games. I'm great at those. I'm good at NHL. I'm just a good gamer all around. I'm not saying I'm the best Call of Duty player ever because I know I'm not, but I'm pretty good. I'm if I do you know at the risk of tweeting my own horn, I'm above average at Call of Duty. Um, but uh, yeah, MP5K is a good gun. Um, and if you want to know, yes, I do do game battles. Um, I have not done them for Black Ops yet, but I'm getting a team for that. Uh, I did it for Modern Warfare 2 and did decent, won a couple games, you know, right around, you know, almost half of them. And, uh, yeah, I get shot in the back instead of killing that guy, and we lose the flag, which really pissed me off. If, if you actually heard the game chat, you'd be freaked out. Anyways, uh, get ready for Part 2 Road Commander. Thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe for more.